The extension of the law of nonviolence in the domain of economics means nothing less than the introduction of moral values as a factor to be considered in regulating international commerce. That's Gandhi from Young India, December 26, 1924. Here's where Gandhi had a great disciple in the late E.F. Schumacher, whose book, Small is Beautiful, and his next book, Good Work, basically applied what he called Buddhist principles, but they're very similar to Gandhian principles, to the domain of economics, where the theory that the, the free market, the open market, will take care of itself and regulate itself automatically has really proven not to work, and the necessity of keeping human welfare first to uppermost in mind is now gaining some currency. I'm thinking here of the king of Bhutan who coined and works on what he calls the gross national happiness. As, and he actually has an index to measure things like that, that the absence of violence, absence of divorces and so forth. And he meant that as a direct correction to the gross national product. <laughs>